first book, publishing my first book, just pushing myself <laughs> hardly any further at all just to start and write a book. It's 2024. We have the programs and the templates available. They've been available for a long time on a whole bunch of different computer programs. But I mean, I've got the Apple phone that syncs up well with the, what's it called, and the iMac home computer. And I just hopped on pages on there. And if you'll notice, if you have it or you have access to it, you can look and it's just the same template, literally the same colors. It's black and orange. And I have been writing captions on social media for so long and I've read personal development books. I've read books on how to write copy. Um, the copywriting, the ad, ad week copywriting handbook. I'm going to be doing a review on that soon. Um, with a little bit of an idea of how to write and then it takes minutes to look at a YouTube video or a couple of searches on how to structure a book. And one of the coolest things I saw recently, which was even in the template of the book that I started writing this week, there's already, like there was a different set with the words in the title, I just replaced them with my own. Um, the inside cover, same thing, replaced it with my own words. And then some of the contact information or the little copyright stamp for my name and the year that the book is published, which I imagine I can get it done in, in just a few days from now. I'm probably a lot closer to getting it done by the time this video comes out. Okay, it's still Sunday. This video will be out Wednesday morning. Um, I just, you know, I, I think about often and the realization that I'm just really right over the edge here with the daily investment in social media, keep putting the offers out there, putting the offers out there, um, staying present that I'm here as a coach for, with American Fathers, um, which includes uh, Saturday group calls at 2 p.m. Pacific time for an hour or longer if I decide to stay longer. Get in a community, an aligned community, group, mindset, leadership, personal development mindset, check in with each other, make sure everybody's doing good. I imagine it's um, mostly going to be, be men as it grows forward, um, but women are welcome. And you come in to talk about your workout program, come in to talk about your nutrition planning that you're working on, meal planning, which I give you a little bit of guidance on, some choices for food. And then you pick what you want to eat. We'll use some freedom there. Go through a couple of months of um, measuring your macronutrients. You know, at least it could be something that works so good for you. You just want to continue it um, indefinitely, or it's at least going to be a foundation of knowledge to get you more familiar with foods and how they work, at least for a little while, because you don't really actually have to copy the um, you know calorie count forever. As soon as you get a good idea of kind of how things work for a little bit like me, I move on from it. Um, but that's what I want to teach, provide, meal planning, workout program, meet every, every week with a group of people with an aligned mindset. Um, myself being there as the leader, making the definition of the uh, direction everybody's headed, just on some basic, basic principles. We all got our own lives to live. Following a few basic principles of working out often every week, um, striving to wake up early, start eating healthy early in the day. You know, give yourself your own task list of things to do to accomplish. Really, just get good at all the small stuff. That's how I've learned to look at things in personal development in my life. And so, I, as I can just keep talking on these videos, really, it's been so much practice for me. The videos, all the caption writing, and realizing as a reader that as much captions as we all scroll through every day, everybody could be reading so many. Um, books at home, or at least a few, but most don't. So that's something I want to encourage, and, and it's excited me so much just being a reader that I could be an author myself, you know, in so many different ways. This first book is to get my audience more aware of my life story, at the same time pick up some of the first keys that I have to offer to help for others as a coach and as I... The, um, what helped me most of all i put in this book and how it guided me along more detail about my story where i started off at 
um, in my younger years, where ch this chapter one starts off at. So I'm going to share a little bit. I'm going to read some of it. I noticed there's a couple of, of typos in there still. Um, just after doing this initial post and share run through today, I shared it on X, Facebook, Threads, TikTok, Instagram. Um, and then I, so I put the page up on my website. That's going to be at the link in the description, uh, the link in the comments, um, just the page. It gives you a run through the same pages. I'm going to go through the right here. It's nice to just have this stuff available. There's the cover. All right. So I'm going to read through some of this. this will be on the inside of the book. Once you open the first couple of pages, some name and contact information, a little dedication, a little short prologue. Hey, short and simple. I like the color setup and you know, grabbing a quote to throw up on some of the pages. So I have one or two of those in every chapter. And then um, I just did a filler picture for now, but hey, I might actually keep that picture. It's from that mastermind uh, with Wes Watson last year. Um, I got jacked right at that time. I was like peaking, just getting real big. Um, it's a good picture. And a little bit about the author at the back myself. So it's 10 pages so far. Um, yeah, I mean, that's part of the thumbnail. I did a little a couple of those mock-ups there. Mess up the focus too much on this video. Here we go. Um, I'm able to do it. You know, make a couple of the mock-ups. Um, simple computer literacy, um, you know, helped me create that stuff. And as it does create these videos. And, and, um, Ty Lopez is going to be involved in this book. Wes Watson is going to be involved in this book. Um, just like I made a video involving those two recently. I think writing is, is going to continue to just flow through me. Uh, so there are several different books. Starting off with getting well acquainted with me, the things that help me the most, and what helps me um, guide this coaching uh, community. What helps me do that the most. And then I'll get into books directly about the family law journey and struggles. And then I'm going to write um, more books on specific areas of just the weightlifting, or a book on just the eating, or maybe short eBooks. Anything. I, I want to. I want to like just branch out from um, just write, 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 write. All these things that I'm waiting to say and talk about can easily fill several different books. And so I'm looking forward to doing that now for the first time and continuing it. Because the, the, the best day that I can picture, I realize how close I am to um, achieving that, is you know building a great income using the internet on these structures that I have built to do it. One in social media marketing, freelancer. I, I can help create or write consultation packages for social media marketing for small business, private practice stuff, any kind of company. And then personally and even more fulfilling other than helping other businesses grow, which helps the, you know, the community, the country and the world grow by supporting good commerce, being a positive asset to the economy and to people meeting and helping people and seeing them grow in their businesses and in turn enjoy their personal lives more. I get even more fulfillment out of my personal life when I realize, oh man, I used to be a personal trainer. I didn't really see a good vision of how I could get paid great doing that before um, until I had learned all the social media skills that I put into um, you know, my services as a, a digital marketer. And then I added that into personal branding that I found with uh, with Wes Watson and signing up with his his blueprint program to kind of show how easy it is to structure again just like freelance digital marketing it is almost a zero overhead cost to provide an app that gives you a workout schedule and encouraging notes and a place to communicate directly with me every day um, same place to provide the meal planning information and on top of that being able to communicate with me on Instagram at American Fathers in the direct messages Plus the showing up weekly with a group of people as it grows. Right now, it's empty. You want to sign up for, you basically can get one-on-one -on -one time for the group price, which is 4000 for three months and the one -on, with the one-on-one -on -one time. It still lets you show up to the group calls. You, you get the same uh, meal planning information and the same schedule for working out, albeit it's tailored or custom to whatever anybody needs or personal goals are. 
we have the same access to all that stuff and the group calls, but you get the extra hour a week uh, with me on a video call to talk in even more uh, depth. And so it's not far off still from spending that time with me in the group setting for less than 100 bucks a week is what it breaks down to. It's 750 bucks for three months. It's an incredible um, package. It's an incredible structure. It's, it's great value on um, both ends of that structure. I mean, how, how, it's personally fulfilling. It builds personal relationships, helps grow other people's lives, especially parents that I particularly um, you know, care about a lot, just given my own experience. Helping people get healthier, take back better control of their lives, staying structured, being organized, becoming better leaders and assets in their community. You know, it can only spread a good message throughout the world. It's really what's available there. Um, you know, any of Wes Watson's faults on the side, as we all have, um, what he's showing through the example of the success he's bringing in it, through through coaching others and, and in in his case coaching the coaches and in the business coaching side he's doing awesome so just having the group the followers the um, coaching clients weekly team meetings going over this very similar goals encouraging each other um, it's an amazing setup so this book is going to encourage to it's, an, it's definitely going to explain what i do there especially on the coaching side. Um, and especially I, I will the, a great benefit of this and how marketing works and building relationships work is I think anybody who's is interested and ends up reading the entirety of this book is going to be much more inclined to take the next further step and join with me in the coaching program, start working out, start eating well, uh, meet up with me every week, and then follow me you know, on the daily stuff on Instagram. Um, the story posts are just behind the scenes, updates, highlights, quotes I'm looking at that day, things I'm doing, workouts I'm doing that day. And um, yeah, and then for me, it's like, it's just the perfect life. You know, wake up early, get a coffee. Nobody else is really awake yet. It's quiet. Um, it takes me just, aside from the initial setup, to check the digital marketing updates takes... Um, less than a couple of hours every morning basically minutes to check in on ads how are they doing are they still active is it following budget are there are no glitches in it you know is it, or is it just performing badly and sucking up money that doesn't need to be sucked up and just get rid of it deactivate it that that maintenance for running ads for somebody for three to six to nine months or indefinitely is just simple checkup recurring income um, starting off at 1500 bucks a month, very simple. Bam. I mean, what a dream job is that? Just do that for a couple of minutes every morning with a great income. Secondary to, to that is checking in on the progress on all my coaching clients. I can, on the same scheduling app that I have that gives you the workout program on a calendar, clickable program, you see a video, how to do a bench press, how to do um, dumbbell flies, how to do a machine fly, what other options can I choose for this workout that's been assigned to me that I don't have available to me today? Hey, I got a message to John, I got a message to coach, I'll ask him, hey, boom, I'll be happy to answer you. It's a great part of life design is to have the time during the day to keep in touch with my with my people and my clients for answering little questions like that, or just boom, save them up, meet up on Saturday, same time every week. If you don't make the meeting, you get access to a recording of the meeting to check everything everybody said. Get access to all the previous recordings just for signing up in the first place. Dude, for me to wake up in the morning, easily sign up new people. Oh, hey, here's the link. Here's the 750 for three months pro package. Or here's the $39.99, almost 4000 basically for the three months one-on-one -on -one package. There's other packages that go six months and 12 months for both of them. You know, say the group calls, if, if you want to do a longer commitment at six months, I think it's 12,500, um, that's about right. And then and then the, for the year long would be 2,000. So it breaks down um, less and less for a longer commitment, but the minimum three months to hop in, join up, and then I don't see why not, why we wouldn't want to just continue, stay with the group, stay on point, you know, for, for year in and year out to, to stick around and keep growing together as a big family. Um, I'm pumped to do this. So to check on check on that stuff in the morning takes minutes on the hour. 
and then continue writing books. So, and lately I'm like, yeah, I've been up early, living the morning I want to live, healthy, and I'm excited about the day, building my, my own social media platforms, my website, writing website articles, writing a book. So I really enjoyed it. This, this, what I've already written, it basically just came out within, um, in one day, less than a full day of writing. It's very simple. So let's ch we'll, ho we'll hop into some of that. We'll cut this video down and um, looking forward to the next one. So the link to get this emailed to you will be in the comments or you can also, you can just read it straight off of my website, but it might be more helpful to have it right there. You can pull it up in your emails rather than go pull it up on my, on my website every time, whatever works better for you. So both options will be there. How bodybuilding and personal development taught me to live by John Fortenberry. And then <laughs> I like the extra message there and the, and the change in some of the color on the words is it basically it says how to live by John Fortenberry. Um, so that's cool. And just to kind of back up and couple with the message of how these things taught me to live, gave me a great foundation. So um, I don't know what else I'll put or add or change into any of these pages yet. I'm sure some things will go, but you know, it just says coach at American Fathers, marketer at High Activity Online. That's also, that's my freelance marketing platform. Author, father, husband, things that I am uh, very proud to be. Simple dedication, dedicated to my family and everyone who finds this book helpful. Quick prologue. Bodybuilding was just one, step one. Truth about my life is this. Bodybuilding wasn't enough in it of itself. Personal development is the true journey as to which bodybuilding is just a part of, even a foundation. Therein lies the circle of the importance of both. Here is my story. So it's just a couple of pages. Chapter one, skinny as could be. Or chapter one, bodybuilding. Skinny as could be, there I was. I learned at age 15 I wasn't gaining enough healthy weight nor reaching physical strength up to my potential. So, so this is like right at the beginning, middle of high school time. I didn't have much guidance from my stepfather. My biological father was sick and would pass away soon after my 16th birthday. So this is all happening just right there in a short time period. I'm coming of age, you know, young guy. So how am I going to grow into the man I want to be? I would often ask myself. How am I going to grow into the man I want to be? I turned to my peers for guidance. Some of these guys seemed to know a little something about lifting weights or they were recently being taught well by good coaches. Unfortunately, at the high school level, the teenage years, whatever little true guidance you may find, it is likely to come with many faults and attachments to not so conducive. Uh, it is likely to come with many faults and attachments not so conducive to the actual results you need or the ones you're looking for. Teenage peers are not the best source for guidance in life. In fact, listening to a misguided teenager's advice could land you in a catastrophe. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. I certainly can. So I would make plenty of mistakes living life without adult examples involved. I tried a few drugs, not smart. But here's where the bright side kicks in. I held more value in learning to lift weights and becoming stronger than I did in doing any drugs and gaining approval of other teenagers. I knew following the slippery slopes of trying drugs with other teenagers could quickly lead to death. Several young drug-related deaths took place somewhat around my life growing up. At the very least, drugs would not help me at all to be the strong male figure I envisioned myself to be. That's the driver, my vision. I made an intelligent, conscious decision very early on. This is who I want to be. Look great, feel great, Give off strong vibrations of peace, knowledge, and security to all in my presence. Basically, what is my idea of the essence of a good man? My stepfather didn't look the part. My father did. Father passes away right in the middle of my teenage years. So, but to my uh, stepfather's credit, he did have many other good qualities that a strong male figure, according to my vision, had. Therein lies the reality that 
looking the part isn't being the part. That also doesn't mean being the part is not looking the part, right? That's all involved. Um, so when facts come to facts, my stepfather worked hard to put himself into a livable financial position by his mid to late 30s. He had three kids he was raising by himself. He woke up at around 3 a.m. every day to get to work where he had about the highest leadership role you could get in the company. He took his kids to church on Sundays. Other than his turkey and seven with a fine cigar, he was a sober man. So he would enjoy those time to time, sometimes just after work, but it was never really any kind of problem, drunkenness. Um, he, he, was, he was respectable. So um, my father did not have all these ducks in a row. He was a good man with well intentions. However, when it comes to taking inventory of the facts of the times, this is the truth. That's all it is. It doesn't say, you know, some person's way better than the other or not. But when you're taking inventory of how your life's going at the time, um, you know, being more financially stable versus not is just a fact of the matter. So it's whatever the excuse is or whatever the intention is, it's good to be in that position. Make the facts of the matter that you're not struggling so hard. Right. That's what I'm getting at here. So alluding to chapter two and the chapters could change here and there. We'll see. Um, external appearance isn't everything. Being ripped doesn't automatically include being strong in the personal development category. But let's get back to bodybuilding. Appearance is what attracted me most in my youth until I wised up as I matured. So I wanted to look the way my dad looked in his prime. Washboard ripped abs or get was washboard ripped like my older cousin Caleb. And lastly, to get some built arms like my Uncle Kevin. All three of these guys guys were naturally built surfers. I could have made a great observation early on and focused on the naturally built part. It's healthier. It combines fitness time with being in the ocean and the sun. However, as a teenager, I didn't have these men around like I did in my childhood. I had my peers and I had my own wit. So... It was during these early days I started noticing there were bodybuilding magazines on the grocery store shelves. I had at least learned that by not asking my mother for much very often, that when I did ask, it was, and it was a small purchase, I would likely be answered with a yes. So a credit to my mom there for picking up a couple of these for me uh, back then. But here's the, here's the caveat to that. So I'd go home with a muscle and fitness or flex magazine. Here I would find some of my first samples of workouts by Mr. Olympia competitors like Jay Cutler, Victor Martinez, Ronnie Coleman, and Dexter Jackson. Truth be told, I would no longer agree that these magazines or articles be given to hungry to learn teenagers. As the industry portrayed in the major magazines typically involves men and women who are on some type of performance enhancement drugs. So what I'm saying is it's really just not good for the younger minds. So it's, it's a great choice. It's, it's, it's great to have the choice as an adult to pick and to pick and choose these. And it doesn't make you a bad person or not. But let's be honest about, you know, young minds taking it easy early on before they're hopping into things that are going to have could have some very serious results. So but this book is about how my story unfolds. So let's continue. Then I turn to books. Much more reliable than all the fuss and drama that comes with teenage and young adult relationships, right? First book I purchased at a Barnes & Noble was Bodybuilding 101 by Robert Wolf, PhD. And we'll have a review on that one here soon. I got it. Now 18 years old at the time, I read only a third or maybe half of this book before I took off on getting immediate results on my following workouts. It was pretty cool mostly from learning the function and effects of carbohydrates and energy during workouts. I had basically just learned to like carb up before my workouts. I'd had a better workout, carb up a little bit afterwards, and I was getting swole. I was like, whoa, hey, there's a little science to this. And hey, I mean, information, there's plenty of information there back then, but that's just it. That's the magic of just grabbing some of it, taking the initiative for yourself and finding out because waiting around on like all the bro knowledge and information I learned some cool stuff from my friends and to a lot of their credit. There's so many other good things I'll get into about that in, in the book. But really, it's like, you know, be resourceful yourself. Look for real dependable places. 
So the next bodybuilding book I would purchase was straight from the source, Mr. Olympia J. Cutler himself. I acquired the book directly from Jay's booth at the LA Fit Expo in Los Angeles in January of 2009. He had recently lost the Olymp he had recently lost the Olympia title to Dexter Jackson. So this was right after the 2008 Olympia, and that was Dexter Jackson, his one and only win. Really cool dude. Learned a lot of great workouts from him. Um, so who I would also shake hands with that day. So I met them both at the expo. Uh, Jay's book was CEO Muscle, a book not so easy to find these days. I would read the book in three days. Later, loaning it to a friend, and I haven't seen it since. Hopefully, the book makes its way back to me someday as it is signed to Johnny J. Cutler, Train for Life. So I'm pretty sure that's the exact signature. If not, that's the one on the signed bodybuilding photo that I do still have. But the book itself, I'm going to throw a few images in with this video too. So hopefully, we can edit it out a little bit cooler this time. See a picture of what the book looks like. And... Um, uh, my friend Daniel's had it for quite some time. I, the way their, his old house works at his parents is his books probably sit in safe somewhere on some old shelf or something, maybe just a little bit dusty. I, I wouldn't imagine any of them would, would throw it away. Um, they would like stuff like that. But yeah, we'll see if we can find that book. I uh, would love to do a review on it here. So finishing up, growing my knowledge, I gathered a few DVDs. I would order something or other titled Road to the Olympia 2007 and the same title of 2008 plus the historical Pumping Iron with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Then comes the age of information explosion, YouTube. I found Jay Cutler Mass Building Meals video, essentially nearly copying his meal plans from that one video with variations in volume. So, and that's like where I, I stopped writing in chapter one. Chapter one probably go a little bit further. It's a taste of the book. I like it, reading through it right here. I've already read through it like four or five times as I've been writing it. Um, I'm excited about it. And so I threw in a picture to get rid of the old template photo that was already in there. I think I'm going to keep this photo. I like it as it is. It's fine. Um, definitely shows a lot of the muscle going on there by the bottom of the picture. I got, I was yoked for this one. I got, I put on a lot of weight. It was super strong. Proud of that day and that moment when this image was grabbed. Um, was in a video from the, the mass, uh, Mastermind 4 with Wes Watson in San Diego, so I just took a screenshot of it. It's a cool spot. And then, so it's cool to see myself here, you know, uh, about the author at the, end, at the end of a book. John Fortenberry, father of four, husband, first-time author, online fitness and life coach at American Fathers, social media marketer at High Activity Online. Always designing life to be the best example he can be to those around him, especially his family. Boom. So I'd love to cut the video off there, but I just want to remind you, link in the comments, link in the description. Go check this out. You can read it for yourself through the website. Get it emailed to you. Um, and then on, on the website, so on the article, the web articles I post, there's a members section. Click members in the menu. Put in your email. It's a free um members account just on the website where you can kind of go in and join conversation and that which i'd like to have comments on on the web articles themselves it's the only place you'll see me type out some follow-up follow through thoughts on recent videos for the week or videos that are coming up that will be on youtube or recent content thoughts or ideas on instagram all culminating around this you know personal development health and fitness um and in doing that, you'll become a, a part of my free email list where the focus of the emails that I write, they're again, a separate set of me taking the time to write several. I'd like to send out several a week, you know, just to just reach out to those people who are a little bit more interested, a little bit more careful of um, my platforms and want to hear from me that much extra. I get the email, get more opportunities in there and reminders to sign up for coaching one click away. Um, you know, see recent book review updates in there. See recent book publishing updates in there that will now be in there. That's one I just sent out today. There's only 11 people on that list so far, so feel free to jump in and join. I'll put it in the comments. It is always in the description of all the videos. Um, and to become a part of the email list just by itself, that's always in the description. So it's free self-confidence email list. 
um, hit that page on my website. The link's in the description, link's in the comments. Put your email in and you'll get an automatic email right away sent to you that, that I made a long time ago talking about self-confidence, a little bit of day one free starter information that will help you hopefully put a spark in your life to get you to take a walk today and start moving. Anything of the sort, some burpees, some push-ups. Get the gears turning on making your life into something better. Just off of those emails, I'll send out, I was going to send out three a month, but I like doing it so much now and I've got a new setup with my email uh, accounts that I, I can send um, quite a few out right now to my short list of recipients. So that's another cool spot. All right, then sign up for coaching. I want to grow this community. I want to grow this group. I want to see, um, I want to see that thrive. I'm looking forward to it. I'm totally pumped about it. I'm happy to have my own book in the works here. Hope you enjoyed it today. Hope you got to read some of it, download it, or get, you know, get it through, through the email. And, um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. We'll see you guys on Friday. More book reviews coming up. I've been a little bit behind on those lately, but rest assured they're going to be on the way. Things are going great over here. So looking forward to it. Hope you're doing good out there. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.